The nation has a new set of climate normals. Every 10 years, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration releases updated temperature and rainfall averages based on thousands of weather stations from across the country. Meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Veradelli is here to explain why the latest normals are anything but normal. These new norms, Jeff, thank you for being here. What is so significant about what has taken place here in these new numbers? So this story has garnered a lot of attention. And the reason why it's garnered a lot of attention is because of this bright red map that we're about to show you right there. So that's a comparison of temperatures from the early 1900s to now. And basically the whole nation is warming. And more specifically, the parts of the nation that the climate models have said would warm are warming exactly in those patterns. So it is further proof of human-caused climate change. Top left is the early 1900s. Bottom right is now, and you can see it speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, where is it warming the, the fastest and the slowest, I guess? Well, it's warming the fastest exactly where we don't want it to warm the fastest, towards the west coast of the U.S. And the reason why it's warming faster there is because it's drier there. We know in deserts it warms faster, right? So that's what's happening along the west coast right now. And you can see it's warming the least in the southeast. And the reason for that uh, is because it's wetter there. It's more moist there, and so you generally warm a little bit more slowly. On the subject of that rain, there are some distinct patterns when it comes to rainfall as well, right? Very distinct, and it's exactly what our computer models have been saying for a very long time. And this is important because in the West, it is drying rapidly. And basically what climate change does is it intensifies the water cycle. So the wet get wetter, the rich get richer, and the dry get drier. So as we compare these maps in the Western United States, it's really drying out. We have the worst drought we've had, or the second worst drought in 1,200 years. And last year, we had one of the worst wire se uh, fire seasons that we have ever seen in modern history. It's drier this year than it was last year, so we have to prepare for a bad fire season. In the east, it's getting wetter. There's more floods. Um, Extreme rainfall events have gone up 30 to 40 percent. That's because the Gulf of Mexico is warmer. It's applying more evaporation, more moisture, pushing that north into the Mississippi Valley and across the eastern United States. So more floods in the east. Hollywood has taken on this issue in different ways. <laughs> I just want to really quickly, I just want to take this one clip from uh, day after tomorrow. Okay, uh, this is extreme. <laughs> we Obviously. don't want this. <laughs> we don't want this. But put this in perspective um, when we see all of these scenes like this sort of fast forwarded in movies. So yeah, this is outlandish. That is not going to happen. But the movie is based on a real premise that we're seeing begin to unfold right now. So let me first show you this map. This is from Professor Ed Hawkins uh, in the UK. And what you can see there, dark red, it's warming fast. Light blue, wow. it's warming slowly. Dark blue, it's not warming at all. Look at that big blue bullseye near Greenland, immersed in a sea of red. That's not good news. You want it to cool, right? But that is an indication that something is broken in the climate system. So let's talk about what is broken right now, or what's breaking. It is the Gulf Stream system, which controls the climate of the Earth. That is slowing down. There it is right there. It's responsible for redistributing heat all across the world. Well, so far, it's slowed down around 15%. The reason why it's slowing is because Greenland is melting because the Arctic is warming at three times the pace of the rest of the globe. That water is throwing the whole current off kilter and what that's going to do as it continues to slow down, could slow down by 40 to 50 percent by 2100, is it could throw weather patterns completely off kilter in the North Atlantic. And I don't think Jake Gyllenhaal and Dennis Quaid will be around at that point <laughs> to save us. But uh, their, it, kids, it their kids will be. Yes, yeah, their kids, kids will, will be, be and their grandkids yeah. will be. Yeah. That's right. But it's not going to be as dramatic and as outlandish as, as the movies. I promise that. All right. Well done, Jeff. Thank you very much.